Making good cigars is an art. It requires the coordinated efforts of many specialists. Every year, several ratings of the best cigars are compiled. The models in these hit parades are unique tobacco products that every aficionado dreams of having at his disposal. Welcome to Velvet Living. What are the top five cigar brands in the world? With a focus on reputation, popularity, and quality, we've compiled the following list of the best cigar brands you can buy today. Make sure to watch till the end. 5. Arturo Fuente In 2012, the world-famous Arturo Fuente Company celebrated a century of hard work and devotion to family traditions. 100 years of successful cigar business. When Arturo Fuente founded the company in 1912, he never dreamed that his passion for cigars would lead to one of the most famous brands in cigar history. From the beginning, the magic of Fuente cigars has been in their quality. Born in 1887 in Cuba, Arturo Fuente had moved to Florida to fulfill the American dream. He started a business making cigars in his home with his wife Cristina and sons Carlos and Arturo Oscar Fuente. Fuente organized his own cigar company at the age of 24 in 1912. In 10 years of existence, the company has achieved a stable position in the market, with a staff of 500 employees by 1922. Those cigars were among the most expensive on the market, thanks to the quality of craft and excellent Cuban tobacco, which Arturo Fuente personally went to Cuba to buy. In the 50s, Carlos Fuente took the development of his father's company seriously. Having entered the market with several bold decisions, such as selling on credit and expanding distribution to New York, Carlos succeeded in the company's rapid development. In 1962, introducing sanctions against Cuban goods in the United States caused significant changes in the cigar industry. But before the ban was introduced, Carlos Fuente managed to grab a three-year supply of tobacco in Cuba, so he had time to think about what to do with production. In 1966, Arturo Fuente's first non-Cuban tobacco-filled cigar was made. At the time, Carlos was experimenting with growing tobacco in Puerto Rico, Mexico, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Initial attempts to open a factory in the Dominican Republic failed, and Carlos bought out the existing factories in Nicaragua and Honduras, which already, in 1973, were producing over 18,000 Arturo Fuente cigars daily. But these factories did not last long. In 1978, an armed uprising began in Nicaragua, destroying everything in its path. The factory burned down, and Carlos Fuente and his family had to flee Nicaragua to save their lives. The first cigars produced by Arturo Fuente in the Dominican Republic were the famous Hemingway cigars, called Illusion by customers, as their taste and aroma brought back the not-yet-forgotten times of Cuban cigars. That was the third birth of the Arturo Fuente Company. Four generations later, the Fuente family still owns the company, now based in the Dominican Republic. The passion for making excellent cigars does not leave the Fuente family. Passing on the traditions and culture of the family to children, the company will continue to bring absolute pleasure to more than one generation of cigar connoisseurs. 4. Romeo e Giulietta Romeo and Giulietta is one of the most famous cigars in the world. Opened in 1875, this cigar brand is as famous as the story of two lovers from Verona who inspired the founders. Two Spaniards, Inocencio Alvarez and Jose Garcia, opened a small cigar factory at 87 San Rafael Street in Havana. According to some archival sources, the rights to the brand were registered in 1863 in the name of Alvarez. This small factory became popular immediately. Founders extensively monitored the entire production process. Since the factory's opening, they have paid the highest wages, thus luring the best skaters in Havana. Smokers appreciated the difference between Romeo Juliet cigars and other brands. The brand quickly conquered the market, but real fame came in 1903 after its acquisition by Don Jose Fernandez Rodriguez or rather Don Pepin, as his friends called him. The famous English Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill adored cigars of this particular brand. In honor of him, the company launched Churchill Cigars in the new Giulietta size. Now, cigars of this size are top-rated and produced by many other brands. 
The brand has preserved the original recipe for a tobacco blend made from the best leaves of plantations in the Vuelta Abajo area. An extensive range of these cigars have moderate to high strength, good light draw, and even burn exceptionally, giving a rich, distinctive, refined aroma and seductive, meaningful taste. 3. Davidoff Zeno Davidoff was born on March 11, 1906, in Kiev. Zinovi was the eldest of four children of the tobacco merchant Henri Davidoff and his wife Rachel Orlova. Fleeing political unrest, they emigrated to Switzerland in 1911 for a better life, settled in Geneva, and opened their tobacco shop in 1912. After graduating from school in 1924, Zeno went to Latin America to get better acquainted with the production of tobacco products and related trade. He visited Argentina, Brazil, and Cuba, where he spent two years, worked on tobacco plantations, and got first acquainted with Cuban cigars. Returning to Switzerland in 1930, Zeno took over the management of the parents' business. What started as a humble store grew into a hugely successful business during and after World War II. Switzerland escaped much of the chaos and devastation that ravaged other European countries and became a haven for many wealthy tobacco smokers. A particular success for Zeno was the launch of the Oyo de Monterey Chateau line of premium Cuban cigars, created for Zurich-based cigar distributor A. Dur Company in the 40s. Zeno is also credited with inventing the first desktop cigar humidor, a special cigar storage box that maintains the same humidity and temperature as when cigars are produced in Havana. Davidoff is also known for writing several books on proper cigar smoking and Cuban cigar brands, which have been quite popular since 1970. Zeno sold his small but extremely successful tobacco shop in Geneva, the Max Dedender Company, to the first European importer of Cuban cigars for about a million dollars, which was a considerable price at that time. He remained the representative of the brand Davidoff until the end of his life. In the 1990s, to maintain his good name, Davidoff completely removed Cuban cigars from the assortment, closed the plant in Cuba, and all production moved to the Dominican Republic, where it is located now. Over time, cigars, cigarettes, and tobacco began to be released under the Davidoff brand. Today, you can also find Davidoff perfume, cognac, glasses, accessories, and even clothes. The high quality and stylish, sophisticated design unite all of these luxurious items. 2. Monte Cristo Monte Cristo is well known to all fans of quality tobacco. However, only some know how these authentic Cuban cigars got their name. There are two legends. The first one is more romantic and elegant. According to it, the name of the cigar brand comes from the famous novel by Alexander Dumas, The Count of Monte Cristo. This novel was read aloud by specially hired workers at the factory founded by Alonso Mendez, the future owner of the Monte Cristo trademark. While listening to the novel, cigar rollers were imbued with the spirit of that era, and magnificent cigars came out of their fingers. Pure art! As a gratitude to the novel, Alonso Mendez called the new cigars Monte Cristo. The second legend is less romantic. Alonso Mendez, an American-born entrepreneur who arrived in Cuba in the early 1930s, adored the mountain air and holidays in the mountains. In Spanish, the word mountain translates as monta, hence the first part of the brand name. The second part, Cristo, owes its origin to the taste preferences of Alonso and his wife. Their favorite wine was La Crima Cristi, or Tears of Christ. They enjoyed it together in the mountains, and that's how cigars got the name Monte Cristo. Due to the competent marketing policy pursued by the company's founder, Monte Cristo cigars quickly reached first place in sales and still held the leading position in the cigar world. As in the early days of the brand's creation, Monte Cristo cigars are exceptionally hand-rolled, boasting refined, rich flavor and deep aroma. Using a predominantly dark wrapper sheet, Monte Cristo achieves a variety of flavors that are revealed gradually, giving you genuine pleasure from smoking such a cigar. Today, Monte Cristo cigars successfully compete with new brands and brands with a long history. Before Cohiba cigars appeared on the market, Monte Cristo was considered the most popular brand in Cuba and worldwide. 
The key to the brand's success was the consistently high quality of the product and the marketing genius of Alonzo Mendez. Even before moving to Cuba, Alonso owned a tobacco plantation in Florida and his cigar factory, albeit small. 1. Cohiba Exceptionally, the finest tobacco varieties grown on the best plantations in the province of Pinar del Rio, Vuelta Abajo, are used to create Cuban Cohiba cigars. The thinnest sheets of the Corojo tobacco become a cover for fine Cohiba cigars. Among other things, the cigar filling goes through the third fermentation, during which the cigars get their unique and recognizable taste and luxurious aroma. The modern history of Cohiba cigars dates back to 1966, when they began to be rolled at a rolling school. Five years later, this school became the El Laquito factory. The creator of Cohiba cigars is Eduardo Rivera. The company was officially registered in 1969. Even then, Cohiba was an attribute of inaccessible luxury. Until 1982, only government representatives could afford Cohiba cigars. Often, these cigars served as memorable gifts to diplomatic missions. In 1982, Cohiba cigars conquered the market with Panatelas Coronas Especiales and Lanceros, produced in honor of the Football World Cup, which took place that year in Spain. Cohiba brand cigars instantly gained popularity and became the number one cigars. In 1989, three more types of cigars were released, Esquisitos, Esplendidos, and Robustos. Cohiba became trendsetters of taste and quality worldwide. Nowadays, they firmly occupy the first place in most cigar ratings. But what is your favorite cigar brand? Share your opinion in the comment section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy the excellent content we'll send your way.